ready? It's recording, right? Guys, um, that problem yesterday was just a small issue with this G28 code, um, and I fixed it with the command G28.1, which just is like a home, it's like a safe spot that the machine moves to, and it was just getting set during the first homing cycle and then not resetting when it was zeroed. So I know I know how to set it now, and I fixed it, and I am setting up to do the first test cut on this machine, and I I am getting a little excited. It's gonna be cool. Stand by. Okay, I got this right over the front corner of this, and when I hit go, it's gonna come up to here, it's gonna come right above this, which is the Z-plane height of my G28, and then it's gonna come back over, and it's gonna come over here, and then it's gonna take a cut here, and then come back up and over, and cut, up and over, and cut, and it's gonna cut out a little mark that's 0.7 inches down, and then 0.2 inches in. And then, when it's finished with that, it's gonna come up, and it's gonna take its G0, G28, and it's gonna go over to this back corner. So I'm going to be over here manning the e-stop in case anything bad happens, and then I'm going to give the computer to mom over here, and she's going to hit start when I tell her to. to. Ready? It's recording, right? It chattered up here at the top a lot. You hear that? That was pretty awful. It's bad on my tool, but I just wanted to let it keep going because why not? Tool engagement was a bit high on that one, but look at that. Nice. It's not pretty. It's really you got a lot of chatter on it, but it held the chatter up till about right here. So it looks like it can probably go down with that depth. Well, that width of cut, that depth of cut probably shouldn't have gone below like 0.4 or 0.5. How fucking cool is that? <laughs> pretty fucking cool. How cool is that? fucking works. It wasn't beautiful. I think you heard all that. I, the depth of cut was a little bit too much in the middle and I got some chatter. And uh, I obviously need a um, chip catcher because you know. But uh, fucking works. Hell yeah. Well guys, naturally I'm pretty fucking stoked about that. <laughs> um, I'm just grinning from ear to ear right now. And uh, obviously there's some chatter. Um, I was hoping to get full tool engagement um, on the length of the tool but it could be rigidity of the tool, so I, I'm gonna try a, um, I'm gonna buy a quarter inch or a half inch tool, so maybe that'll get more rigidity out of it, but it's probably the rigidity of the machine. But that's okay, I can just take a, uh, I was trying to take a full depth of cut, which is high efficiency milling, but I could take like half of a depth of cut or something like that, and I would still be doing high efficiency milling, just not ultra high efficiency milling, where you're using the full flute length. Or I could use a stubbier end mill, which is probably what I'll end up doing actually, because that's what you're supposed to, that, that makes everything more rigid to use stubbier tools. So the stubbier tool, I'm not worried about it. I can get rid of that chatter. I just gotta, you know, once I get those those settings for the, the metal dialed in, Fusion 360 obviously is really good at keeping constant tool pressure, so that's not a problem. So um, I, I think this is gonna work pretty well, pretty pretty stoked. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited. I just I just vacuumed up all the chips. Uh, I. I Sped up the spindle speed when I heard that chatter. I thought it might help, didn't. But uh, I, they were making pretty decent little chips. Um, I just vacuumed up both of them. I left some of them here for you guys to look at. Um, maybe, there we go. And they look pretty good, they're pretty decent. Some of the ones thinned out, like I said, after I, I turned up the uh, spindle speed. So, you know, that, that happens when you do that. Um, because it, you, if you turn up the spindle speed, you also need to increase your feed rate. Which I didn't, so I had some chip thinning. But the, the chips at the beginning, especially, looked pretty pretty decent. So um, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with all this, man. You know, if you're seeing this for the first time, hit subscribe because there's more to come. I'm gonna be using this thing to make an Iron Man suit, and it's gonna be fucking awesome. Before I do that, I'm gonna make some 
awesome vices for it that are going to be fucking awesome. So a lot of awesome, a lot of awesome in that, those last couple of sentences and it's all going to be awesome. I love you guys. Have a good one. Good look at it. It's pretty neat, huh? Yeah, I thought you wanted me to pose with no, it. No, I didn't want you to pose with it. It's pretty crazy. Yep. I'm really excited with that. Fan of white. Fan of white? Fan of white. Oh. I don't know what that means. It's pretty flat. Pretty flat, too. Mm -hmm. Way flatter than my, my salt cup. <laughs>